we got some dope news sony just revealed their future plans for the playstation 5 we're going to talk about how that compares with the xbox series x another huge pokemon leak has dropped on the internet new games possibly coming also new call of duty leak and new nintendo switch games are available let's talk about it all in one epic video let's go What is going on everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, you already know, because it's going to be epic, bro. You're going to love the content. I promise you. And so because of that, already give it a thumbs up, broski. All right, let's get right to the news. First, the future direction of the PlayStation 5 has been revealed by Ken Kenchiro Yoshida, Sony CEO. In a recent um, corporate strategy meeting, he laid out the direction that Sony will be going. One, I reported on part of this yesterday, but this is new for today. First, he said the company will invest heavily in first party games for the PlayStation 5. That's one aspect, meaning that you can expect more huge exclusives this next generation. And one area where Sony may have upped one on Microsoft this current generation, they're exclusives, bro. The best thing about this <coughs> um, Spider-Man console was the controller, though, bro. But you, can, you can't deny it. Right now, I'm playing through Final Fantasy VII Remake, loving the game. And so Sony does have exclusives, and it looks like they're going to continue that into next generation. But that's not it, bro. He also says... Um, Yoshida said that Sony's, this is coming courtesy of VentureBeat.com. Their gaming future goes beyond what players can do in their couch, says Yoshida. In playing the latest Sony hardware. It's trying, they're going to try to reach more people through cloud gaming, remote gaming, and mobile experiences. And so... They're not going to be hung up so much strictly on PlayStation hardware sales. They're going to be investing in cloud streaming, remote gaming, and the mobile gaming experiences. Streaming as a service. I know a lot of gamers don't want to hear this, but this next generation is where it's going to really get big and really take off. Xbox is already there bro they've already heavily invested in x cloud bro for example um game pass with game pass minecraft minecraft dungeons is about to launch it's a no-brainer which console i'm getting it on i'm getting on my xbox one why it's included with my subscription every big major um xbox exclusive is included with that subscription bro just think if next gen you sign up for PlayStation now and whenever Sony drops Ghost of Tsushima that's about to launch it's free at launch if with your subscription bro that would be crazy and so that's the direction uh, um um Sony my um Sony says that they're going according to um Yoshida He's saying they're not putting all their eggs in one basket with just the PlayStation 5 hardware, but they're going to be um, investing in streaming services. They want to meet the gamers where they're at. I think it's a good strategy, and we already know, bro, the console war Sony against Xbox, when in reality, 
the two companies are going to be working together next generation dudes i know you guys yes they probably have their separate streaming services but sony has partnered with microsoft for microsoft to help them with their azure to use microsoft's azure cloud technology um, for PlayStation streaming services, and so Sony's gonna be using Microsoft to stream. You know it would be lit, man. Next generation, just platform agnostic, bro. It don't matter what system you get now. They all come together, and you just buy games, bro. That would be lit. That would be lit. But this is the direction Sony said that they're gonna be going. Next generation should be interesting. But that's not it, bro. We have more news for this video another huge pokemon leak has flooded the internet uh, this is coming from go nintendo.com <coughs> um, and this is what um the article says we're not sure how this keeps happening but nintendo and pokemon company have suffered yet another source code leak the source codes for Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green have all found their way onto the internet. And so, more leaks are coming. I know there was another big leak for a source leak for a Nintendo systems not too long ago. So, who? Nintendo got a mole in their camp, bro. Somebody's leaking all their stuff. A former disgruntled employee, something. But... Um, I think with these source code leaks, it allows um, ha hackers, modders, uh, don't quote me on this because I'm not a tech dude, but I believe, I believe it allows you to have um, access to, well, like, of course, access to the source code to where you can more easily replicate the game. You can create your own um, Pokemon Ruby <laughs> and you can spin, spin it off, add your, own, add your own assets and elements to the game. Once you have that source code, it open up, opens up a world of possibility to how you can modify that game to your own liking. And so, of course, Nintendo does not want this to be on the internet. We'll see how those Nintendo ninjas move. All right, next news item, the new Call of Duty game. The name of the game appears to have leaked. Twitter user, this is coming from GamesRadar.com. Twitter user Okami, um, and he has been spot on in the past. He got the information about Call of Duty Warzone correct. He got the um, information about Call of Duty Modern Warfare correct. And so he's a reliable leaker when it comes to Call of Duty stuff. He's saying um, he posted an image yesterday featuring the original box art for 2010's Call of Duty Black Ops with the added Cold War um, text posted beneath its title. And so, according to him, the next Call of Duty game will be called Black Ops Cold War. Cold War. When I think of Cold War, I think of boring. So, <laughs> hopefully Cold War isn't the final name, but we'll have to see. And last but not least for this video, the NES May games that were announced a week ago, they're now available to download on your Nintendo Switch. All right, and so the games are, I know Rygar is one of them, um, Wild Guns, Operation Logic Bomb, Panel de Pond, um, all of these games are available now on your Nintendo Switch. Go and download them. I'm going to do some gameplay on each of these games on my gaming channel. Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships. Sometime today, I'm going to post some um, the gameplay for these games on that channel. So, I also have a Final Fantasy VII playthrough that I'm doing on my gaming channel. Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships. So, make sure you check, check out my gaming channel. That's it for this video. Make sure you're also in Maze Giveaway. What? How do you enter Maze Giveaway? You're about to find out in this outro. All right, what do you guys think about everything you've talked or we've talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things game, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? 
That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice, Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway, but wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.